Well, Pisces, let me take a seat. Welcome back to my channel, Pisces. We are going to get into this reading. There is a lunar eclipse coming in March the 25th. It is going to be hitting your seventh house or it is going to be hitting Libra, okay? <laughs> Which talks about your personal relationships um, of all kinds, family. It talks about your romantic relationships, even your business partnerships. How is this eclipse going to affect you? Now, um, I do want to tell you that the um, energy could start now and it can stretch out through the rest of the year. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going to, what we're going to see here for you, Pisces. Let's get it. Pisces. two that came out. I don't know if I want to take that. You got community, 11th house, which is your hopes and wishes coming true. And then you, ha you, you have the ace of wands. That's what it looks like. Um, Aries energy. You need to act in something. I want to, I am going to use those cards, but I want them to come out not so chunky, just one at a time. There we go. So I am going to use those cards later on in the reading. At the bottom of the deck, you have fifth house, arrival, fifth house. Fifth house is about your dating, okay? You even had it here, fifth house here. There's changes um, when it comes to... When it comes to your, your dating style, Leo, Leo is the sun. Maybe there is going to be changes with someone that you're dating here you also have eighth house that's exactly what i saw a house is endings it's lust it's sex it's other people's money oh this is first house not fifth house first house first house not fifth house First house in Leo, this is you. How you see yourself, there could be some changes. Are you doing, are you changing something on your body, your hair? Something is arriving. Hmm. So one thing that I will say here for you, Pisces, uh, you know, your reading, first of all, starts off with Leo. Leo talks about shining. This is you. Something about you is different. Something about you looks magnificent. I feel like you're changing something about yourself. And if you're not doing that right now, there is going to be something that you feel like you want to change about you. Okay. Um, and I'm definitely seeing it because even here with the eighth house, it's the same thing. It's like the death card. It's like changes. Um, I am going to say with dating, with dating, it may be a little chaotic. <laughs> Because there's a lot of lust here, a lot of sex, a lot of mystery. Um, very active energy as far as dating, especially for you singles. Very active. If you are coupled, could it be an ending to a long-term committed relationship? If you're coupled with somebody. Because, you know, there's a, something dealing with this eight house that makes, that makes me feel like there is cobwebs. There's secrets, there's lies. And maybe something isn't fun anymore. Maybe there's no adventure, there's no spark. So I do feel like it's different for different Pisces. For some of you, when it comes to your love relationship, if you've been in a long term, yeah, it could be some endings here. Finally, right? And I don't know why I heard finally. Some of you guys are like really wanting to get out of a connection. For others, it could be just the change, you know, finally you get to, you know, go out and explore and date, um, you you know, sexually, not necessarily exploration sexually, just dealing with everybody, right? <laughs> you know? but you're, you're able to express yourself, okay, sexually um, in this reading. 
okay? Because I do see sex here. Now, what I'm going to do is read, I'm going to read Leo. I should have done this before I cut the camera on, but I, you guys got to flow with me. I don't know these cards like that, and I'm trying to channel as much as I can. Leo, what is the benefit of Leo? It talks about bravery. bravery. It talks about being able to share your heart, being visible. Like I said before, it's totally being visible. It's like you are out there. It's it's the it's the uh, uh, the level of attention that people give to you, okay? And also, you know, like people see you. So if you're dating, they're like, "Oh, who is that? Who is that?" Right? <laughs> um, you light up the room. It's saying that you are warming up people's lives. There's this energy with this Leo where there's this renewal of your spirit here. Um, it says, be honest rather than being modest. Be honest with yourself and the people that you deal with. I'm going to read the challenges that are here. If you're acting from a place of soul hunger, you can mistakenly think that any attention from others will fill the gaping hole. Now, not all good, not all attention is good attention. We already knew with that Leo, I already knew. I was like, uh-uh, especially because I thought that this was the fifth house. I thought this was the fifth house, which talks about dating. Look at what I just said. I thought it was the fifth house. Fifth house talks about many people wanting to get your attention. Crazy, right? I made that mistake because I felt that energy. A lot of you are definitely going to be magnetized during this time, right? So a lot of people want to get to talk to, get to know you, that type of stuff. But this here talks about, it's like a warning. Not all attention is good attention. Okay. Um, Leo is also, you know, you dealing with someone or, or it could be you, right? It's the ego. But it says stubbornness. The fear of being wrong or the desire to be seen as a leader may blind you to what is urgently needed. So it's like, oh, my way of the highway or no one else's opinions matter. Now you're getting all this attention or you're being recognized. And then all of a sudden you block out reason. Some of you guys can block out reason. You're like, I don't care. It's all about me. <laughs> okay. I have arrived, right? Pisces, I have arrived, right? So don't allow this Leo energy, the shiny energy to disconnect you from real feelings with people. Okay. And real, your the real community. All right. It's a it's a beautiful energy. I, I really do appreciate this because I, I really do feel like you're going to be attracting love and people who actually appreciate you. Now, what's the gift? This is the good thing about it. It says love. <laughs> Leo rules the heart. So bring your energy and attention and, and intention, not attention, but bring your energy and intention into your heart and let this chakra become a beacon. Um, there's going to be a very dynamic there's going to be a shift here. And that's what we're seeing here with this eighth house, that there's about to be a, a huge shift happening um, in your life. First house is you. It is you. How you see the world, how people see you, what you experience, new experiences. I love the fact that eighth house is here because you could be dealing with a you can be dealing with a, a Leo or a Scorpio, right? But it it talks about or an Aries or Aries. We saw that. Remember, we saw Aries and first house is Aries. We saw the Aries energy. It talks about acting something that you may need to do. So it's like Leo takes their brave. So if you're fearful about something and you're like, I don't know what I should do, Leo, honey, comes out of the gate and says. I, I I have arrived. Move out of my way. I'm the I'm the king of the jungle. Okay. There's nothing that frightens you. Things that used to frighten you are not going to frighten you anymore. Okay. That's the bravery that we see with the Leo energy. So yes, taking action in something that you know you need to take action in is there, and it could be cutting people off or ending things. Being honest with yourself. Okay. 
So, you know, and also part of this eighth house is like, even though you know there's change coming, um, the mystery is definitely not necessarily knowing everything about the future, which can be very scary for you. And that can keep you from moving forward in certain things, moving to a different country, you know, uh, leaving the comfortability of a job or a person. Okay, let's get into it. You guys already know I can talk my ass off. We're in this thing 10 minutes. It was only supposed to be 10 minutes. I could talk forever. It's just what I can do. Pisces, let's get into it. <laughs> First house, I have arrived. That should be the title of your video. I have arrived. A lot of Leo energy. Seven pinnacles, seven of pinnacles. Some of you, I don't know why I'm seeing this obsessiveness, this obsessiveness energy here with the seven of pinnacles. Money has not been exactly where you want it to be. So some of you have been definitely worried about your finances. It's like you can have money, but you still worry about it. Okay. Seven of Pentacles is the need to continue to keep trotting through, you know, maybe, you know, rough territory. So like love, like love or life has been very rough for you. And you're like, I'm still going, I'm still going, I'm still going. Because you feel like there's going to be a benefit at the end of the tunnel, right? Like you feel like you know that if you keep going, something as good is going to happen for you. And it will, because part of the seven of pentacles, you get rewarded by your hard work, according to the universe, okay? But I feel like you have been obsessing about possibly not getting it or uncertain about if you ever will get something, love, money, comfortability, satisfaction, whatever that could be. Um, but the seven of pentacles, mm, yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing this this preoccupation with, you know, definitely wanting something to work out, desperately needing things to change. Some of you have walked away from somebody who you knew for a fact was not good for you, and you can't stop thinking about them. But you had to but it was but you had to think about you first. That's there it is again. You had to think about you first. There's this thing now where you're like, I have to think about me. I can't think about you anymore. I can't think about everyone else because this is really you know extending yourself to a certain degree with this seven of pentacles you've been moody you've been very moody the reason why that leo energy is there is because that you lose your confidence in something now i'm telling you that you're going to shine and that you're going to be like you know you're going to draw all this attention and you're like, yes, where? I don't feel confident. That's not me. I don't feel that way. Nah, that's what's so beautiful about that card because that's the change. You're going to be feeling like that, even though you may not be feeling like that now. Because for some of you, you're very disappointed. You've been, some of you have been suffering from depression or secret depression, sadnesses, just moody energy. Feeling like you've wasted your time on people. People do not appreciate you. Mm -hmm. I do see, for some of you, love interests, definitely. One may end, another one may start. There it is, love interest. See, you being so guarded, though. Like, you're afraid. You're afraid of certain people. You're afraid of being hurt. There's somebody you're going to really like, though. If you have not been dealing with anybody, there's somebody you're going to really like. I told you I saw passion and lust and desire. Mm -hmm. I saw that. That is definitely here. Six, somebody, you, somebody could be giving you something, too, because remember, eighth house is other people's money. So this can happen in relationships with other people give you money. Or maybe you may help out someone that you, you're falling for. Spoiling energy, someone spoiling you, or you're spoiling someone. I see you receiving something here. 
And you're open to it too. <laughs> that six of pentacles. And it's not just about um, relationship. I feel like this is other things that you're going to be receiving. Oh yeah. Whatever's been uh, like weighing very heavy on you, I see that that's going to be lifted. But somebody does, I feel like there's someone who wants to apologize or something like that. Someone wants to talk to you. There's a lot of healing in this reading that needs to, I mean, there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. Let's get one more. I see your, I just see a new job too. I really do. Part of that healing is your money. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like some of you are going to be working more than one job or you, you're very, that Seven of Pentacles, I saw that you were definitely worried about your finances. So for some of you, I talked about that preoccupation or the obsession you may pick up another job or the you may feel the need to pick up another job because there has been some money issues. Because remember, Seventh House talks about your relationship with money. And, you know, you, I don't know, did you buy a new car? Was it some money that you need to, you need to pay for something? And now you're just obsessing over the fact that you don't have as much as you thought you were going to have. You are going to be okay, okay? The Two of Pentacles is being able to manage it all, manage your feelings, manage your love life, manage your day-to-day -day routine. And I do see that you are, you know, putting into practice or being a little bit more organized in that area. I feel like you'll be okay with this uh, lunar eclipse. New things are definitely going to happen for you, definitely with your work relationships are going to change for you. Like I said, some of you, um, there's already been an ending. For others, you're going to be meeting people. But there are certain things, certain rules you're going to have to apply. And that's boundaries here because there's been a lot of hurt. And again, I keep seeing this tenderness with you, feeling emotional, a little moody and a little depressed. So I part, part of that Two of Pentacles is balancing, balancing out. Okay. All right, this is what I have for you, Pisces. Love you guys. Bye.